Hello, so I wanted to walk you through real quick how to view uh, your budgets, how to review them, how to adjust them, and then how to submit them to a reviewer. So I'm at uh, my TVCC, right? So I'm going to log in. And you're going to want to go to Campus Tools right here. And then down on the left side, Budget Tools. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the budget uh, to prepare for next year. So this is going to be uh, the budget for 24-25, right? And so what you can do by that is you can go in and you can search by worksheet or you can view all available worksheets. So whatever you have access to as a reviewer, you're going to be able to see those worksheets. And uh, so you can bring them all up at once uh, in a list to go through, or you can search by worksheet. So I'm going to go ahead and search by worksheet here. And so uh, you can search by number. Type in the account number, the third component of your account number, or you can search uh, by a portion of a name. So, for example, I'm looking for uh, campus security here. So that's the one I'm going to select. Okay. So this is uh, that top one. I'm going to go ahead and click on fill out and submit this worksheet. So that's where you're going to want to click is your worksheets are budget worksheets are on your budget tools on my pvc you're going to want to find this and then click the fill out and submit this worksheet so this is going to bring up this um, worksheet here so on the far left this is the proposed budget for 24 25 and then we see next to it on the right the 23 24 budget and actuals and the 22 23 budget and actuals so uh, what you're going to want to focus on is you're going to want to focus on the, the left side, of course, this request this is where you're going to look at. And so you can see this worksheet already has been adjusted. You're not going to see any changes when you first pull up your worksheets. They're all, it's all going to be blank on the change column. But if you want to adjust, uh, so the guide, the guide is this, right? So what we want you to do is if, you're, if you want to adjust between line items, then you can do that. The total budget, though, needs to remain the same. And the total budget, uh, if it is going to increase, it needs to come through the strategic planning um, and module, the strategic planning process to be able to add additional dollars into your budget uh, for items. So this is not where you're going to put those items in, right? This is going to be your current budget, and you're moving uh, dollar bills in between the budgets. So if you're thinking, well, I, on the other expense, I don't need as much in there this year. Um, I can go ahead and move some down to uh, the supplies budget. And that's actually what this uh, person did when they prepared this budget. So in order to do that, we can see you're going to click on, let's say, for example, you want to move some of the other expense down. You're going to click on the little pencil here and you're going to look at this so if you know the account codes for the general ledger you're going to see that these account codes up top here are the account codes that are in this budget line item right so we have a bunch of different account codes that are used as other expense and you're going to and that's going to be what's in this budget so if you're looking for uh, something specific a specific GL account code, then uh, you can look here and find what, what's in which budget. Uh, so for this one, um, it's, we're just really rolling over from last year. So last year, the budget was $2,150. Uh, increase that to $1,500. So this is what you want to put in there. Okay. And then, um, and then save. If you want to put a justification in there, go, go for it. Uh, you're going to save this. And then, of course, you reduce that budget line item. So that means you can then increase another item for it's it's going to be 
uh, what's that, 650 bucks. And so that's what they did here. They went down to the security supplies and increased that by 650 bucks. And so to increase it, of course, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to click on it and you're going to add um, the new amount in there, moving the current budget up by 650 bucks to 4,800 and then save that. So once everything is done, once you actually like this, you say, okay, this is what I want it to look like this year. Uh, then you can go ahead and, and click this. So you, you need to, right? That's part of the process. You're going to, uh, click the submit for approval. It's going to uh, have your supervisor or VP, whoever it is, that's above you on the on the line. Uh, that's then going to uh, approve the submission and then move it forward. So, so that's something that you're going to need to do, and you can communicate with them as they go forward and do that. Um, and so, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, Darren Bell in the business office, extension 5842, or you can send me an email at dbell at tcc.cc.com.